What's cracking YouTube? It's your boy, though. Back again with another NBA video. And today, I want to talk about the Warriors versus the Celtics game tonight. I'm going to do my little prediction. And I'm going to explain why I think this series is over. It's over to me. I, I if, the, if the Celtics win another game, it's over to me. But I have to explain why. But before I do, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man, because I'm coming back for daily bangers, man. Let me put the glasses on. Sophisticated dough in the building, man. Okay, so look. I've been watching these games. I haven't been reacted to them, but I've been watching them. And this is basketball so simple to me. And when we look at the stats, I hope y'all can see clearly the stats. This is the game the Warriors just won the other day. I think it was Saturday. Curry had 43, Klay Thompson had 18, shot at land, it was eh. Wiggins had 17 and 16, that's a beautiful game. If you can get some production out of Drummond Green, bruh, he wants to do his podcast, let him do his podcast, I have no problems with that, you know what I mean? But man, Jordan Poole needs to, uh, he needs to do more, he was, he was, he was averaging damn near 20 with Steph on the court. Before the playoffs and shit started. So I need you to pick up the production. But besides this, this is a typical Curry, you want to win finals MVP? They've been talking about you not stepping up in the finals. This is this is the performance you do. This is some LeBron status shit. And I like that. You need to do that every game. Because that's what LeBron and Kyrie did. That's what LeBron did eight years in a row. That's what he did. And I think Curry, I think Curry can do that. Klay Thompson needs to stop. He's a he he's egotistical. He needs to get that out of his head. Just hit wide open shots, one dribble pull ups. That's it. But this is my my biggest thing with the Celtics games. You need these type of players to beat the Warriors. You're gonna lose every time. I can't count on. If I can, if y'all see this right, I can't count on Marcus Smart every game giving me 18, 18 points. 18 points on 18 shots is crazy for a third or fourth option. Derek White, 16 points. I can't guarantee that every game. Al Horford, 25 points. I can't guarantee that every game. But you know what I can guarantee? I guarantee Wiggins gonna get at least fifteen. That that's a fact. We Wiggins gonna give you damn near fifteen a game. Curry gonna give you thirty. Clay he he's always gonna give you at least he gonna give you ten. So I, I'd really if you need like this is regular stuff for the Warriors, but if you need Marcus Smart, Derek White, and, and Al Horford to win you games. I have a problem with that. And then we, we got to watch, look at the uh, stats of the game that the uh, Boston Celtics won. And it's like Wiggins twenty uh, Wiggins 18.7 rebounds, Clay 25, Curry 30, Jordan Poole had 10. Then you go down here, do you see 26 from Tatum, 20, 27 from Brown. But you needed 24 on 43% shooting. From three and forty-seven percent, that's damn near fifty percent. From Marcus Smart to beat the Warriors, and and Curry didn't even have to go beast mode. Like that's that's my thing. Tatum, Tatum, and Brown twenty fifty combining for fifty-three points is nothing. LeBron and Kyrie like they exceeded that so much that. To me, 50 points combined is nothing. I don't care. 53? Who cares? I was, they all typing that up. Who cares? 53? That's nothing. But I think the main factor right now is Draymond Green needs to, he's the vocal leader. He's the leadership to this team. He needs to step his game up. He needs to do everything his power to, bro, if you can't, Get them dribble handoffs. They leaving. Bro, they doubling Steph off dribble handoffs. Go to the basket. I seen you dunk on people. Go dunk. Al Horford's not. Nah. Al Horford did block Giannis. But come on. 
just go up. If you got to do a layup, do do something. But you can't just, you catch and then you dribble, try to go do dribble. You're not Kevon Looney, even though Kevon Looney can, he, he can, he'll go get a little layup or something. But you, you have the most opportunities. Every touch, you got the most touches to be able to go do those things. And that's where I think Draymond, you, you usually average about 13 points a game in the finals. Look, this finals, look at the stats. Four, nine, two, and two. Bro, you used to get 12 a game. A game. In the finals, you used to get 12 a game. Do I have to I, do I have to go search it up? Like, I will I will search it up right now. Draymond in the finals. He used to go stupid. In the playoffs, he used to get more points than he did in a regular season. He used to step his game up all the way. But this year, it's looking bad. And if you can give a little diversity, you can give a little diversity. Look. Look. Draymond, last, in 2018 19 finals, I think this is the one y'all lost to the Raptors. 13. Eight and no 13 10 and 9. Two steals, damn near two blocks. Come on, where's that Draymond? 11 8 and 11, uh, 11 points, 11 rebounds, eight assists. Where's that Draymond? Draymond 13 7 assists, nine rebounds, two steals, almost two blocks. Where is that Draymond? That's the Draymond the Warriors need, and that's the reason why I, I think. Out of everything the uh, the Celtics is doing, I'm like I'm watching it. I'm like the Celtics is having good games. Like I can't complain about anything they're doing. But I feel like the Warriors are always in that like they're like this close to you. Like it's crazy you can have such a good game, but the Warriors is always like right there. They're one step behind. They're not twenty points behind, like we've seen all them blowouts. But they're like literally neck and neck with you, even though you're having a great game. And the Warriors be playing like Dookie Water. I feel like these boys is playing like buns. But they be so close together with the with the Celtics that I, I really don't have a problem. And then this game, look at this. Derek White, 21 points. Brown, 24 points. Smart, 18 points. Al Horford, 26 points. Six for eight from three. This is the games you need. You need to shoot 50% from three to beat the Warriors, which is not a problem. Like, I'm not saying this is a bad thing for the Celtics. This is a good thing for the Celtics. But can you keep that up? Last game, what did they do with this one? Shot 38%, but damn near 50% from the field. Damn near 50% from the field. How many free throws? 15 to 24. That's not that bad. That's not bad. But then you got, when I look at it, Marcus Smart, if you can get the X factors, I, like Wiggins is the X factor for this finals. He's been playing exceptionally, exceptionally well. But we need to stop Marcus Smart. We need to stop Al Horford. Like they're stopping Draymond. We need to stop them from doing this. There's no way in hell I would have thought Derek White was going to come on the court and have two 20-point games in the finals. He's the last person I thought that was going to have a 20-point game. And that's that's like, no, that's no disrespect to Derek White, though. But I, I did not expect that. And I think the Warriors need to fix that. But besides that, I really don't think this series is really like the Celtics wins are like that crazy. Because I feel like the Warriors are always there. And if they can get a better Draymond... Like, what did he do last game? Nine, eight, two points. Like, Draymond, we need 10 points out of you, bro. You can't give me five layups, three layups, two free throws. I'm cool with that. Four layups, two free throws. It's that hard. Run in transition or start the transition, start the break. Two points, four rebounds, three assists. Where the rebound at Draymond at? I had you on my parlays multiple times, and you don't get my rebounds, bro. Where the rebound in Draymond? That's what Draymond. That's what Draymond do. He rebound, he hustle, and I just feel like he he's doing all the theatrics. He's trying to 
You know what I'm saying? What they did with LeBron, he gyrate and do all the dancing. That's what Draymond's doing right now. And Draymond, you need to do better than this, bro. 11 rebounds, 5 assists. You need 12 points with this, bro. That's what the old Draymond did. Come on, Draymond. They need you in this finals. And I think it's over with. If you if you start if you play better, this series is done with. It's done with. All the role players are playing to Draymond Green. They doing the theatrics with him. They bumping. They they trying to get text with him. Draymond, just play better, and this series is over with. You're the X Factor now. Wiggins was the X Factor, but now you, it's it's like Draymond. Just step up, please. And that's pretty much it. The Warriors is to me is winning the finals. I'm sorry, Celtics fans. If y'all win it, don't crucify me. But it's not like the Warriors are like leaps, like like the Boston Celtics is leaps and bounds just outperforming the Warriors, though. That's not how I feel. That's not how I feel. And that's just what I want to say before tonight's game. Hopefully this don't backfire on me. But man, I had to get my piece out because I haven't reacted in a couple of days. But man. I really think the Warriors got it. And that's plain and simple, bro. I, th I think the Warriors got it. Tonight, they're going to win it. And Steph is going get, to get buckets. And hopefully, Draymond can come out, be aggressive, and do what he has to do. Because he is the only missing, lacking piece to this puzzle, bro. And that's, that's it. That's all I got to say. If you feel differently, let me know in the comment section down below, man. And, uh... I'm out of here. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. And I'm going to catch you on the flip.